Hi guys, Victor is here. So, um, I have an issue with my Modo S. It's three months after the warranty expired, and uh, for the last, uh, for the past few days, about five days, I couldn't access the vehicle through the mobile app, and I wasn't uh, sitting home because of all the viruses and such, right? Um, quarantining myself so I couldn't access the vehicle I knew it's parked in a garage so I didn't really need to do so but it didn't work I said maybe you know the LTE SIM card lost the reception and uh, this is what it is once I drive out of my garage and I live in a house not in an underground parking there so anyway once I drive out it's gonna start working so it didn't it didn't work the LTE sign was off didn't work um, Maps were working, but obviously not the not the, the it didn't show me the live traffic, which I really didn't care. Now I got to this store, parked, and I said, okay, yeah, so it doesn't really work. Screen works. One uh, the one screen, the small one and the big one, are both of them working. Anyway, so I parked, pushed the two buttons to reset on the steering wheel, and hoping that it's gonna reset. It didn't work at the first time. Um, second time when I pressed more accurately, the main the big screen turned off and it didn't turn on so I lost the screen I've done it again and again and again a few more times over and over it never came back now the screen is dead um, I have the I have this panel is still working that is what it is everything else entertainment is not connected this thing is off um, no matter what I do it doesn't work um, yeah, and I still can't access, and I still can't access the vehicle through the app. So I just scheduled the um, mobile uh, service. It's gonna come in eight days from now. Um, but the point is, okay, waiting. So I'm not really driving much because of the, all the quarantines and such in the city. The point is, I don't have a reverse camera, which has upsets me very, very much. So if I go here, for example, reverse, right? Put it in reverse. Is nothing happening so i have to i have to guess what i'm driving and i'm really not used to it anymore i know some people say oh you guys crazy too spoiled this is a reverse again but no it doesn't happen it's really sucks so we'll see what happens in eight days so far tesla mentioned in the in a, in a service appointment that there would be a fee for this appointment uh, it's not specifying how much but uh, there would be a fee for this thing i'm pretty sure it's the software issue i mean the lt the model whatever happened to that and then the screen worked and then it stopped working after the reset it's the software um i don't know what to tell you i'll keep you updated once i'll get the service uh, mobile service arriving to my house and we'll see what happens here okay